brought to you by GTA. We start with you. The vice chair of the legislature's public safety committee says not enough is being done to stop the ice age on Guam. Crystal methamphetamine, an island scourge, and Senator Talina Nelson says the silence is deafening. It seems like there's very little talk about it. And when there's very little talk about a certain issue, we're trying to say that this issue does not exist. But this issue is very prevalent and it does exist. Someone else who's talking about drugs now, Customs and Quarantine Director Ike Pareto. He agrees with Senator Nelson about Guam's drug problem and adds that the port needs more attention. And Pareto seems hell-bent on stepping up efforts there, especially since, according to Pareto, Customs hasn't made a bust at the port since 2017. That's almost two years with no bust at one of the island's main points of entry. Talk about things that make you go, hmm. I believe there's drugs coming in the port. Yes. We need to focus more attention on the port. We need more manpower down there. Nelson and Pareto also agree that a full-time drug detection canine unit needs to be stationed at the port, with Pareto saying that's on his wish list. Definitely, definitely. If I can do that, I will do that. We need those canine dogs to ensure that there are no drugs coming in through our ports. Um, you know, to being completely candid, uh, there's very little attention put at how the port operates. But just who is bringing drugs in through the port? Pareto tells KUAM News he has his suspicions. There are areas down at the port that I, I need to work on because I feel that, yes, employees might be involved in, in this process. The customs director says there aren't enough inspections being conducted at the port, something he's working on changing, and that requires figuring out what cargo coming in is high risk for drug smuggling. The director says, for example, only 12% of the 2,808 containers shipped to Guam in July of this year were physically inspected. I feel that we should do more inspections down at the port, uh, and that's what we're concentrating now. Uh, we're identifying the different types of commodities that are coming in and trying to, to focus on that type of uh, uh, inspection that we need as it relates to the importation of illicit drugs coming into the port. I can safely say that uh, I've been changing the strategy down at the port ever since I assumed office. I'm uh, now focusing on a lot of the shipments that are coming in, because if you look at the at the, uh, the stats of where that is coming in, it's coming in from the U.S. Barreto says his legislative oversight public safety chair, Senator Pito Terlahi, has said Customs' only hope for getting money to hire more officers is to raise inspection fees. But Pareto says since raising inspection fees would be a difficult legislative process, he thinks senators should put their money where their mouth is and supplement his budget if they're serious about curbing the flow of drugs into Guam. If they're not willing to raise the fee, then they should supplement my budget through the general fund. Customs has made major seizures at the airport and the post office in 2019, 40 pounds of ice. That's a street value of $4.6 million. But not a single meth bust at the port in almost two years. Not a gram, not an ounce, nada. Which Pareto says means the port is a hole that he intends to plug up. For Guam's News Network, Chris Barnett reports. Brought to you by GTA, we start with you.